Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Day. The Irish international Jake O'Brien is reportedly at Finch Farm and is set to complete a move from Leon. The deal is reported to be around 17 million, with some people saying as high as 22 million. Um, possibly 17 with add-ons for the player. 23-year-old uh, came over from Ireland to Crystal Palace, uh, had a few loan moves, settled in Leon for the last year or so. Um, yeah, and uh, seems to be the one that Everton are looking at to be the the one to challenge Jared Branthwaite and James Tarkowski at the centre-back role. Uh, six foot six, um, very aggressive centre-back. Who uh, you know has caught the eye of Sean Dyche, someone that you would look at and probably think was a long-term successor to James Tarkowski. Got that same kind of frame and aggression. Um, lots of people believe he's the short-term replacement for Jared Brantway, but those people probably don't know Everton and Everton's situation and the fact that uh, Everton obviously have struggled at centre back really, and with Ben Godfrey leaving the club and Everton trying to move on Michael Keane and Mason Holgate, um this young man seems like the ideal player to come in and take that role. So um yeah, let's hope it's done quite quickly and, and can be involved in um certainly the game on Saturday against Preston in pre season and uh, ahead of the, the Roma game a week on Saturday. So would look like a good sign and hopefully Everton can get it over the line very, very quickly. Uh, other transfer uh, talk, Everton have been linked with Ricardo Rodriguez, the Swiss left-back, uh, has actually played against Everton, scored a goal against them for Wolfsburg a few years back in the Europa League. Uh, he is a free transfer. He was at uh, Torino. We played 120 times. He's 31, 32 next month. Um Played at Torino for four years, played 120 times, 120 caps for Switzerland as well, and it would be seen as the ideal backup to Michalenko. Um, can play a couple of different positions as well. He's a slightly younger version of of uh, Ashley Young. Um, but yeah, Everton have been looking at him, and it, with it being a free, could be the ideal situation there to Everton to boost their, the squad. Um, and also as well, allow maybe some younger players to go on, on loan. Some of those, uh, you know, both of those deals allow some of those younger players that we saw on Saturday at Salford um, in the second half be able to go. One of those players is uh, Reese Welsh, who's been linked with a move to Dundee on loan. Um, previously went on loan to Forest Green, so that, that one has been rumoured today. Uh, and as I said, a couple more into the squad would allow players to go out because as we saw on on Saturday against Salford Everton won nil up good goal um by James Garner good free kick uh, and then when Everton made the subs it was a, a lot of younger players it was basically an entire team of younger players bar Mopai at the end and Everton have ended up getting beat 2-1 um because a lot of the senior players went off the pitch uh, so it would allow some of those players to go on loan and, and obviously boost their the squad because obviously it's you know you look at the team towards the end of last season how many youngsters there were on the bench who were there just to fill spaces basically so it, uh, Everton could do with a few in and a few going out on loan to help those players develop uh, as I said Everton getting beat 2-1 by Salford Everton have got pre-season game tomorrow against Coventry City away so uh, hopefully some of those players will come back the manager said James Tarkowski's injury isn't that serious, you know, a lot of speculation and rumour about uh, his injury and also um, Jared Branthwaite, not too serious as well. And the likes of Adissa uh, Garner Gay and didn't didn't get him any uh, game time. Uh, so he, so he just didn't want to risk anybody, basically. So hopefully some of those players will be back tomorrow. Uh, Everton women have made a sign today. It's actually their sixth signing so far of the summer. Ima uh, Gabaro has come in from Seville. Uh, young Spanish international, 21 years of age, got four caps uh, for Spain. An exciting midfielder. So uh, Everton women certainly bringing a lot of players in. Uh, they, they 
did lose quite a few players towards the end of the season and have, and had to have changed I've had to change a few things around so we uh, good to see them bringing in some young exciting talent to the team so there you go this is that's been all the news from today around Everton make sure to give this video a like subscribe if you haven't already if you want more great videos join us over on Toffee TV Premier the link is in the description and the QR codes come on the screen now see you later